All right, and I'll get the tag closer to the reader. And as you can see, it says block six x password. Okay, for this project you need an ESP32 and the RC522 module. And so this is the pinout that I'm using right now. The MISO is connected to pin three, the MOSI to pin four, the S clock to pin five, the chip select to pin eight, and I tied the reset pin and the 3.3 to 3.3 and ground to ground. And so you will also need my library, you can find it on my GitHub repo. I'll leave the link in the description. Obviously, you'll need to download the source file and the header file as well. Also, you'll need to install the ESP identification extension in VS Code if you haven't already. And so, here is the bare minimum project. I'm only initializing the SPI, as you can see over here. And in the while loop, I'll write the function which will read the data from the my fair card. And if you haven't heard of the RFID, it's just a technology used to wirelessly exchange data with objects. And so let me show you how we will read the data from the card. It's not something very complicated. And let me see. This is how you're writing your data. Basically, the MyFair card has like one kilobyte of memory and the um, unique identifier. And we will need to send a request, then to get the identifier, then you have to select the card, authenticate with the card, and then write or read to the memory itself. And so I'll write the code and, and explain everything. All right, that's the bare minimum code to read the unique identifier from the card. And just to show you again, how does the sequence of reading the unique identifier work? So this function, pick is new card present, is continuously trying to request data from the card. And when I get the card close to the reader, it basically returns a true. Then I print the card detected. Then I select the card, as you can see over here, because this library, because that's how the library works, you have to select it beforehand. And then we're basically reading the, the whole memory of the card. So I'll flash it to the board and see if it actually works or not. Let's see. I'll get the tag closer to the reader. And as you can see, this is the memory. Let me show you how does the memory look like on the data sheet. Basically, you have one kilobyte of memory and the memory is divided into sectors and each sector has four blocks. Obviously, you can write data only in the blocks that, are, that don't contain the keys because the keys are used to authenticate with the card before actually connecting, connecting the reader to it. And so the memory itself is flashed to zero apart from the unique identifier. I will try to actually to use a credit card to see if it actually gets detected and see what happens. Let me see. All right, so we got the identifier, but we cannot connect to it because it uses some private keys. Obviously they must be secure, right? Uh, now I'll show you how to store data inside the card memory such that you can authenticate the user based on the username and the password. And so you need to declare two buffers, one for the username and one for the uh, password as well. I have already done that. And I'll need the variable which will hold the length of the buffer. And so here is what I'll do over here. We no longer need to read the whole memory of the card, so I'll just comment it out. And I'll obviously, if I want to read the data from the card, as you can see here, I have request. Then I have to select the card because I don't need to get a, the identifier. And then I have to authenticate. Then I have to read the data or write the data to the memory. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about embedded systems, I have a free community about this. You can join by using the link down in the description, as you can see over here, it's called Embedded Software Mastermind, and we are already 29 members. The default keys used to authenticate with a card are by default uh, six bytes of FFFFF and so on. And I have already done that, as you can see over here, this is the key used to authenticate and I'll write the code for it.
I'm selecting the card. Then I authenticate with the card, which contains a buffer with uh, six times the FF data. Then I'll write the username and the password, and then I stop the crypto. Obviously, I have to write to a different block. I write to the block six, let's say, and I'll rename this to, um, let's say the username would be Joe Duncan, and the password would be, I don't know, pass. Something like that. And that's it. I flash it to the board. Again. Actually, I have to change this to PCD. Now I'll write the data onto the tag. Now I'll read the, again the memory content of the card. And so I'll go here and just comment this out. And I'll do that again. Now I'll flash the board. Now I'll get the tag closer to the reader itself and see if it actually stored the username and the password. Let's see if I can make this look better. So I'll do this. Uh, yeah. And so I've written here to the, the fifth block, the username and the, the sixth block, the password. Now I'll make this look better. So um, like this. And so, as you can see over here, I have 4, 8, 6, 7, 6, 5, 20, as you can see, uh, they're basically the same thing. So, this is the username. And let me see if I can write here password. I'll type convert. And, and this is the hexadecimal equivalent to password. As, and as you can see, is the same content. Oh, well, actually, this appeared. And so, here I have 70, 61, 73, 73. Now I'll show you how to read the data from the card. And so this is not very complicated again. And so you only need another function which stores the data inside the buffer. So I'll comment this out again. And you only need to select the card, authenticate it, then stop the crypto, which basically which basically gets the reader out of the authenticated state. And I write here uh, my fair read which basically takes the SPI. So I write here Caldrix buffer and Caldrix length. Now I'll simply print out the content. Now I'll flash it to the board again. All right. And I'll get the tag closer to the reader. And as you can see, it says block six, X password. 